Today we're going to talk about, um, we're going to do another example problem using the char function and the num to string function and we're going to use some basic operators again. It's similar to the last example we did, um, we're using char function, num to string function. In the next video I'll do the same example problem with um, num to string, I mean uh, fprintf function and then you'll see that it's easier to use that function than this. It's about the same difficulty, it's not that hard. Okay, so in this problem, we're given that you have a car that's going at a cer certain speed. Um, the speeds are given here. And then you're given how long it takes for it to stop from that speed in column 4 right here. And then there, we're told to find the missing data, which are these two tables. We have to figure out these two columns. We have to figure out. Um, and then we're going to use the char and num to string function to make a table that looks like this right here, this table right here, um, right here. So part A of the problem says calculate the missing columns 2 and 3 um, using the first and fourth column uh, and then we are going to make a matrix A that contains all these four vectors S, X, A and T where S is the speed, X is the distance, A is the deceleration and T is the time okay so let's start by finding um, we were already given S and T so to find X we're going to need to find A first so we'll do A and from from kinematics we know that uh, acceleration is delta V over delta T um, so we'll just do speed dot divided by time so we have we're, I already declared the variables here um, so the speeds are 10, 21.25, 32.50 and if you notice that um, they're equally spaced uh, 9 spaces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 yeah equally spaced 9 spaces and so you could just use the lin space function if you know that they're equally spaced um, it's optional you could type it or you could um, just use that so the first thing we're going to do is find the acceleration um, which is delta v or delta t or speed divided by time. Um, you also have to be sure you use the right units. In this problem I made the units um, the same so you don't have to worry about it or consistent. They're consistent so you don't have to worry about it. But if you're doing a problem a lot of times your teachers will try to put different units just to see if you're paying attention to um, the actual application or not. Um, so then we have okay so moving on we're finding we already have s a and t so we can find the distance the stopping distance next or, or how long it will take to stop so x is equal to f uh, from, again from kinematics we know it's uh, one half a, a t squared um, so we already have acceleration and then we already we're already given the time so we can use that t squared um, uh, be careful that you have to use dot operators here because you're dealing with vectors uh, not just scalars so I'm going to run this just to see if we get um, the correct answers um, so we should get these two columns let's see if we get correct answers so we get 3.462 for, for acceleration so so our answers are consistent so we can move on to okay let's check distance real quick should be the same um, so the distance is also the same so so yeah we can move on to um, the next part but before before we move on to the next part we're told to make one make it into a one matrix so we'll just put it together um, always make sure you read the question thoroughly because on one of my exams I forgot to graph something because it's a graph and I didn't see it properly um, so um, yeah so you just make this that's all they told you to do so you can move on to the next part of the problem which says use the char function and the num to string function to print the table so every time you're given anything like this that when they tell you to print a table using the char function the first thing you should do is just copy uh, print uh, make strings of the first two or three lines that you have because that's the first thing you should do because um, even if you don't know what to do that will get you some points 
So that's the first thing you do. L1. We have we have three lines here, so I'll just call them L1, L2, L3. One, L2, L3. Um, and then you just either type it or I'm just gonna copy and paste because I don't want to retype this. Um, so you can just write or t uh, copy and paste these three lines. Okay, so now that you have the first three lines, the next part you want to print is the body of the of the table. So that's just these four column vectors. So we have the body. And that's we're going to put that into a single matrix. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is use the num to string function to convert everything into um into strings so we can use the char function so we we have four num to string functions in here one for each um, each of these s x a and t so they will all go in there so we have num to string s here um, num to string t what's next again uh, distance x so num to string x here then we have um, acceleration here. So remember, it's this deceleration. So you don't re you don't put the negative sign. That's why they're not negative. And then you have time. So we'll put t here. Um, we just have to check the decimal places now. So so speed is in two decimal places, but everything else is in four decimal places. So we'll change. We'll put percent 12.2 F again this 2 right here is what indicates the number of decimal places this number is just telling you that that the number of um, I guess spaces you could um, that the number will contain at most um, um, you can use any number I think up to 16 or 18 I don't know but for I'll just show you, you can use 13 if you wanted to you can use 14 um, it doesn't really matter and you can use, yeah so it basically you can use anything you want 12.4 F so again the 4.4 or anything after the decimal point right here is indicating the number of decimal places you're going up to so we're going up to two decimal places for this column and then four decimal places for these three columns um, once you have all that you're ready to use the char function and then print the print the table so you're saying print L1 go to the next line print L2 go to the next line print L why didn't type L3 and then and then print the body um, I think we're completely done except for oh yeah there's one more thing we need to do we want the spaces in between so you you would use num uh, I mean rep mat function to add spaces in between four spaces should be good this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, nine by one. So this is a nine by one matrix. So you want to sp put the spaces in between every column. So you could just use the wrap mat function to do that. We I used it before in the last few videos. So I'm not going to explain what it is because it's it's pretty self-explanatory. Um. Okay, so, um, so once again, you just put everything into the char function to print it into a table, and then if you run this, let's see if we get the table we wanted. Um, yeah, it's basically the table you wanted. If you want to move this over by a little bit, you just make this into a nine by two matrix. So, so two columns of that. Um, run this. Okay, yeah. So basically, you can play around with it if you want. But in the you you will see in the next video when I use the FNF function, that it's just much better to use the FNF function as opposed to the char function, and you will use FNF function nine out of ten times anyways. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, leave comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.